Gonzo Man! Take it to the limit. We need theme music for this. This is totally gonna be part of the montage. Oh, yeah! Very nice. Six, seven, Gonzo man, don't give a fuck. Do you? So that was a lot of uh, Jeremy pulls. Okay, so we are three quarters of the way through this boot camp. We're day 20 something, 21, somewhere in there. And uh, I thought it'd be good to do some of the exercises we did from the beginning and show some of your progression. So this is our friend, the tire. Mr. Goodyear Power Torque. Mr. Goodyear Power Torque. That thing gave you some trouble on day one, right? Um, this actually is the easiest exercise I did on day one. Really? This is the one I found the easiest. Like, now, I do remember that. you you I, I wasn't sure if you were going to be able to do them, period. And you did, what, seven? I did seven of them. And you were pretty out of breath after seven. Yeah, and it pretty much drained everything else. Like, this and the weights were what I felt I did the best on day one. What I felt I did the worst on day one was the elliptical. So, let's see where we at cardio-wise. Because this is more of a test of cardio. Because we did a montage of these, and I did... A lot that day. Yeah. And, but there, I did a lot that day with breaks in between. I'm going to try to see how many I can do before I just can't breathe. All right. Let's see what you got. Switch direction? Yeah. Going uphill now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A little bit harder. How many was that? I didn't count. That was a good number of them. Um, so you definitely did more than seven. That was... Gonzo Man, did you keep count? Gonzo Man can't count, can he? That's okay. So that was a... Be on Sesame Street. How can he not count? He's, we need the vampire for that. We need the count. To, uh, no, yes, yeah, the Muppets. Muppets and Sesame Street are different, apparently. So yeah, that was a mark... That was a marked improvement. You definitely did much better, and you've still got a lot of gas in you. Okay, so last time we attacked this weight machine, it got rough. Now, you were doing things uh, really slow to try to keep good form, and that does burn the muscles a little more. 
and hopefully that has paid off. There's no need to do that now. We're trying to see how many uh, reps you can do, so knock it out. This is 100 pounds. Come down lower. There you go. That's seven of them already. Eight. This is why now's Jordy beats up last week's Jordy. This part right here. You did like 11 or 12 there. And on the first day, you did like four of like, it was 120. But, still, but at a, when we got to 100 last time, you were, you were knocking out like five, six, giving up, resting a few minutes, doing one more. It wasn't going well. You're definitely stronger, right? That was good. That was good. Nice try. Let's take a let's let's take a break and uh, let's do some fun stuff. All right, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. We've had 21 days of improvement. We're gonna see if Jordy Jordan has what it takes in tug of war to defeat Gonzo Man. All right, on the count of three. One, two. Three. Gonzo man, pulling so hard and strong. This is an intense tug of war. This was intense. Hop in there, Gonzo man. I want you to. I want to get you in frame for this. So that went pretty well. You, uh, you definitely hung in there well, Wings. Yeah. Uh, you put everything you had into it. You want to give it another go, maybe? Because I think you just... Gonzo Man's got cleats on. Zon Gon well, you know, <laughs> Gonzo, Man came Gonzo Man came prepared, okay? <laughs> Hey fellas, <laughs> just into video six. Uh, video six is um, pretty much a video about how far I've come physically during the um, 20 or 20 or so days I've been at boot camp. And uh, we pretty much did it at the end of week three, and I'm currently in week four right now, um, wrapping it up pretty much uh, before I had to go and take the reins on my own. And I've been thinking a lot lately. I've been thinking a lot about life lately. And like um, why things should happen and why things should be done for and what reasons. And um, I've been thinking mainly about actors. Two actors in general. Um, John Candy and uh, Chris Farley. Chris Farley obviously can't really fit into the line of thinking. Because he died of a drug overdose and he kind of expediated his death. But John Candy didn't. John Candy was a big dude. Well, I'm a bigger dude than John Candy. But still, he was a big guy most of his life. And um, he ended up dying of a heart attack. And acting is tough. Just imagine doing different scenes three or four times over and over again. I can only imagine what it is. Because I kind of. I'm kind of relating acting to what I've been doing, doing things over and over again, repetition, the grind of what working out actually is. And, you know, it sucks. It's tough. And it'd be a tough life to lead, to travel all the time, being his size and working. And I guess, I guess the, like somebody like um, Paul Wright, the big show, could be another guy I could kind of put into this. And it almost made me seem invulnerable how well I feel. Like, I feel so good now to be a big dude. But I don't want to lose sight of me feeling good as me being complete. Because I'm pretty sure John Candy was in just as good a shape as I'm in right now because of all the... He did a lot of work. He rode horses. He, you know, acted pretty much year-round. He's, he's probably a lot more active than I am. I don't know if he worked out, but, you know, just the, the idea of being active 
is, you know, comforting. So, if those guys can be struck down, it makes you seem more humble to yours. Because one thing that kind of slips your mind as you grow older is the fact that you're growing older. I am 27 years old right now. I'll be 28th on April of next year. And, um... It's... <sighs> I'm getting to the point where my weight will... Could have fatal consequences to it. Like, uh, my heart could, you know, just give up. Um, one of the things that was really scary and one of the things I really go back to all the time is um, a few months ago I had a thing called MRSA M-R-S-A is a MRSA infection in my uh, on my stomach and it got into my blood and after that cleared up the nurse pulled me to the side and started talking to me about my heart rhythm and naturally my heart beats at 98 beats a second which is normal, but it's in the high band normal. From what I've been told, normal is 40 to 1, I mean not 40, 60 to 100. And uh, 98 is right there at the high end. So it, it puts me at a higher risk of a heart attack. And um, there was a guy named Bobby Counts. He uh, went to high school with him. He was a big dude too. And he at 19 had a heart attack. And um, you never really know how many days you have so you get start living or you get start dying I mean it wasn't until recently that uh, I found that I found that uh, living is more important than most things in life um, for the longest time, I uh, I spent most of my life um, just trying to get by. You know, I'm going to do this job to pay this bill, to do this, to give myself this free time to play this game. And you don't really stop and actually live life. And um, life is pretty much all this worth. I mean, why do you go to work in hopes to have a better life? Why do you do things in hopes to better yourself? Why do you do anything? It, everything goes along the lines of you hope to do it, man. do it better. And I feel like I should start. I should get started on doing those experiences in my life that people want to talk about. But the best part of it is I've already started doing those experiences with this boot camp. Thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for your continued support, and uh, hopefully. This year, I'm hoping to be under 350. Um, by my birthday this year, I'm hoping to be under 350 pounds. Cross your fingers.